I'm ready. I'm ready too. All right. I never you ready, Shadi. She be on the ones and is twos. It, is it? Is it? She DJ? Not DJ. Oh, you she's, said ones and twos. She's the audio saying, engineer. She's the audio Prince. engineer. Uh -huh. Damn, you put a lot in here. She spiked my shit. That's right, sis. Get oh that. Thank you. We up and running? Okay, boom, we back in here for another banger, another week, another episode. This is the number one podcast on the earth, the $20 million podcast. And today, um, we, have a, we have a guest that I'm personally excited for, one by popular demand. The one and only, the beautiful, Big Coochie. The biggest coochie. <laughs> it's really the little one, but I'm still the fucking biggest. Do you hear me? I mean, yes. Okay. That's what I, I mean, that's what I had, that's what no, I had to type in to find your Instagram. I had to type in the biggest. <laughs> the biggest. How, how you you got to drag it like that. The biggest. Yeah, it was a lot you of people. You got to put a Like, the biggest. The big, biggest. The big, the biggest. Yeah. The biggest. <laughs> yeah, friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> How you doing tonight? What's up with you? I'm awesome. I had to work today, so you know, I've always been a go-getter. Mm -hmm. I'm working non-stop, clearly. But I feel good today. I woke up blessed. I had another day in my life that I can do something positive, and I did it. That's great. I just feel good. I don't know. That's I'm always great. feeling good. That's why I don't understand where all the negativity shit be coming from, because I don't even like that shit. For that, those I, people, people that come with the negativity, those they were just raised different. Like, they have different type of screws, you know what I mean? Mm hmm And it's just like, we can't do nothing about them, but just pray for them. And ignore them. Ignore them, yeah. Some of them you can't pray for, because they lure demons. They can't pray for you them. Can't, you can't help them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, a, a lot of a lot of people came to me personally and asked me to interview her, so I don't feel like I have to give much of an introduction. But um, if you if you don't know her, if you just coming if you just coming around, you just coming to me. You just see two niggas on the screen. You just want to watch it. This is the see. This is she's a season one cast of the um, low ball low baddies of Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, with Pressure TV. Pressure TV Network. Yes, sir. Um, talk about let's let's just start that let's before we talk about the whole TV experience let's talk about more so your background and like where 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 did you grow up what's up with you where are you from well honestly I'm not too far from here I'm from Libby Heights and Garrison mm -hmm. what we call LNG I've always been a West Side baby I'm not from the projects but I'm from the hood if you know what I mean you know what I mean if you know you know you know what I'm saying the projects they be hanging clothes on the line see in the hood you just you in the hood. You might heat your house up with stove type shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? I mean, okay. they do that in the projects too, but you get me. I get what you're saying. All right. Yeah. But, you know, the hood a little cleaner. The projects is just the projects. Mm. But I'm from LNG. I sell cars. You know, I do a whole lot. That's what's Wait, you crazy. Say you sell cars? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hell yeah. I sell cars. That's what I do. I actually do a lot, though. I just. You ever take. So many courses that sometimes you be like, all right, I'm done with this, and I want to go to the next. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I be at with it. Okay. Yeah. So you, so you, so you're basically like you're, you're basically jack of all trades. You good in sales. You can sell me anything. Hell yeah. Okay. I can't wait to go to school for real estate. You gonna go to school for real estate? Yeah. If I can sell a car, I know I can sell a house. Uh, so yeah. A beautiful home. Tomato, yeah. tomato. Exactly. <laughs> 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 talk about your talk about your experience growing up. Um, how how when, when did when did this big coochie come along? So, <laughs> I'm sorry, was that a weird question? That's so funny, though. Just the way you said it, because I had somebody pull up on me earlier and ask me like, where did big coochie come from? And I had to break it down a little bit, but hmm, where do I start? Growing up was never really. A problem for me. I always been a likable person in school, mm -hmm. out of school, whatever. Um, but Big Coochie really came about honestly when I was in Pride. And the gay Pride thing. Yes, I was at Pride in Miami. Oh. It's called Sweet Heat. Whoa. And it's all women. Shout out to DJ Dimples. What? All women? Men. All women. Not, no. No guys. Oh wow. If you see. You know, if, if you see somebody look like a guy, I promise you it's still a woman. What? Yeah, it's all women. So it's it's so lit. <clears throat> like, 
I was like, oh my God, I'm surrounded by all this coochie. <laughs> I was but I'm the, the same biggest. Way but hold up, because I'm the biggest. But okay. I'm still like, I ain't know what to do. I was like, listen, I can't keep giving them my real name because most of them don't really know me. And I don't really like giving my name out like that. I ain't gonna lie. It depends mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. So I'm out there. I'm like, you know what I mean? Shit, I can be whoever the fuck I want to be. Fuck it. Boom. Big Coochie. They're like, what's your name? I said Big Coochie. Oh, wow. They like, I like that. So when I started seeing how people was really, you know, gravitating to the name, I was like, all right. See, when you small like that, when you got that, that thinker, mm -hmm. I call it the thinking cap. Because I be always thinking even when the fuck I'm asleep. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, I open. can, you know, get somewhere with this. I can benefit off of this. Okay. Boom. Went and got the LLC. Got it, you know, copyrighted and stuff. So don't nobody try to take what's mine. Oh, wow. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want nobody to take what the fuck I created. I don't hear no bitch out here talking about that name, Big Coochie. Exactly. I haven't, I haven't. And it's not to say I got the Big Coochie, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It feel like, I me mean, personally... On the outside looking in, it's like it's before. I felt like it was a de derogatory name, you know what I'm saying. But I feel like you. But when you came in, you definitely normalized, you normalized it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, <laughs> it did. Somebody called. Somebody today called me big pussy. I said, please don't call <laughs> me that. I said because that sounds so. That sounds a little crazy. No, that's crazy. It's big coochie, because it's you know coochie is still a little baby like oh. Yeah. Yeah. You get me? I feel you. Yeah. Shit. Instead of pussy, it's like, it's crazy. It's levels to the coochies. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what type, you said, you said, um, um, growing up in school, you were always a likable person. Yeah. I never really liked, um, people who thought they could bully me. I used to beat them up. You know, pretty girls fight too. Mm. When it's coming to the respect. Other than that, I'm cool. Let's party. Poor shot. No, the one thing they, the one thing they won't tell you is that you I you won't party. you won't know they you won't know they whoop some ass until it's too late. Well, yeah, that's what I think. That so. too, that too. You, you ain't lying, man. That too. Mm. So, what is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> See, look, my other homeboy asked me that. Okay, when 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 us women or excuse me, our LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. we do this, meaning I agree with you, meaning that shit, yeah. So can it's I giving a hand clap. I mean, I don't have my nails homeboy asked me the same thing. So it's cool if you do the. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, don't do the. Don't do that. You can do probably the one two. One two. All right. Yeah. Shout out to Be More Rap Review. That's who I taught. He was like, "What is that?" He asked the same shit. I said, "It's you know, real niggas can." Real nigga. <laughs> Something like that. I'm I'm gonna cut it down to like one and a half. I'm not gonna do a full two. Like that's a little too much. I am crying, yo. Real shit. You <laughs> said, what is that? Like. <laughs> okay. Um. So wow. I mean, like that was pretty a uh, um, long story short about your up upbringing. Tell tell me about when you said um you, when you what was one of some of the first things you did. You said you got the name Big Coochie and you copyrighted it and you got the LOC. What was some of the first things you did after that? Well, I came up with the cup. And I was like, I'm going to start my merch. I'm coming out with, you know, some merch. And I got to have my baby on there, Dakota, because she's the bad bitch. Oh, wow. Husky. Husky. Know? Yeah. But I came up with the merch, but I'm, I'm looking forward. See, I got some things cooking up, but I don't want to say nothing until it's time for it mm -hmm. to come out. You ever heard of don't say too much, but say enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to say too much, but um, I do have some some stuff cooking up. But I do have some merch coming out. Please check me out. This spring, this summer, this summer. I will have big coochie merch. Big so coochie all my merch. ladies who got the big coochies, little coochies, medium coochies, all coochies matter though. Wow. Yes, all coochies matter. I need to get shorty some coochie merch. Yes. <laughs> the biggest coochie. Oh wow. <laughs> get us some coochie merch. Yes. <laughs> Um, so if you're listening to this right now and it's the summertime and it's hot outside, you should already have on a big coochie shirt. Mm -hmm. Can I have a big coochie shirt? Like, mm -hmm. is, it, is it just to, is it for men too? Can I get one too? I ain't gonna lie, most most of my supporters be the men. 
I believe you. And the older women. You, if you look at the comments, it's just like that. The shit. men be like, yo, I fuck with Shorty. Because when they see me in person, they be like, yo, Shorty, you a vibe. I don't give a damn. Because they don't know me. They looking at me through a fucking screen. No, for real. Just really get to know me. Pull me to the side when you see me. Don't keep looking, bitch. Say hi. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, be cool, Chimba. Hey, girl, what's up? You want a drink? Depending on where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. I'm not. I don't know. They be weird as fuck. I, they do be weird. I be weird. At, I be looking at the comments. That shit would be like 1942. You, you would big think Gerald. they know me. 1942, Big Gerald. Like, oh, I see you got that dress on old again. 1942, old bitch. <laughs> bitch, you was born in 1942. You're old, bitch. You washed up. Let me have my time. Oh wow. Yeah. I feel like if you put in your if you put in the year you was born in your in your Instagram tag, you you old. Like just no matter what year you put. I ain't fucking old. No, I'm talking about in your oh. Instagram. I'm talking about, like... If, if you, anybody. If your Instagram... Don't you know how, like, it'd be, like, 1942 Big Gerald? Yeah, or they could be saying the dawn, dawn, the dawn. The dawn. No. I said the dawn, the dawn. That'd be that birthday. Because they can't, they can't really afford that, the 1942. No, niggas don't... Niggas, don't, niggas didn't know what 1942 was. They did Until, like, the baddies came out. Right. And they saw the bottles. I, I already knew, because I was drinking that. Did you ever heard of 44. No. Exactly. It's Avion, but it's the top notch. That shit like 150, 160 about What? Avion? Please try it. It's called 44. Mm. Last I bust time. the bitch window out with it too. The bottle is very healthy. What? Did the bottle break? No. But the window Her broke. window did. Well, before we go any further, let's talk about this stuff. <laughs> let's, let's talk about this story. Forget the background story. You was a cool person. All right. When, when, why, what's, why are you putting bottles through car windows? Because she was fucking with my sister. Okay. See, some triggers is triggering. Don't fuck with my family with my money. Big worm gonna come out. Or Devo. Or the Hulk. It's levels to this shit. Oh, wow. But no, for real, I don't really like to be violent. I really... <clears throat> I'd rather fuck these bitches than fight them. Okay. Depending on who they is, because some of them be like, girl, no, Given tuna. <laughs> don't, don't be talking. here talking to all these bitches like no, that. No, they be giving tuna. I'm, I'm gonna keep shit real. This <sighs> what, this what they want. Wow. Giving tuna. Okay. Tar tar. <laughs> Let's get back to the interview. Let's get back to this interview. Um, what what was happening around the time when you first were getting into contact about the show? Like what was happening when you first hit me up? Yeah, like what was happening around? What was happening around? Um, what was where were you at that point in your life? Like what was going around? Um, now? when they first hit me up about the show, it's crazy because I had got a reading. I'm very spiritual. I'm very spiritual. I can read the room. I can read energy. I can tell what's up. Oh wow. Um, my god sister, like I love her. Shout out to my sis. She she gave me a good reading and it told me that I was going to be where I was at within that time frame. So, me getting that reading months before any of this shit happened, when it was coming to me, I was like, damn, is this what she was talking about? Mm-hmm. So, I gave it a chance. He hit me out of nowhere. No lie. It could have been a scam. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't know this man from Adam and Eve. But I said, you know what? I'm going to take a chance because I see somebody trying to do something for my city and I don't see too many people trying to really do something for us. Mm-hmm. So I took a chance and um he he ended up being legit. So you know, me conversating with him, meeting up with him, he filming me, we you know, conversating and it just went from there. I was like, Oh why right, he's serious about his shit, I'm serious about it too. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. And Told me what the concept. He told me, you know what? I already, but see me. I've been honestly, I've been watching reality TV since I was younger. That shit been Natalie. I've been watching that bitch since she been in the house yelling. I run LA. <laughs> you know, bitches like that, Camila. You know what I'm saying? A couple baddies that really I've really been watching. So mm-hmm. I already knew when it comes to the reality TV, it, it comes with drama. No shit don't always have to be scripted. Some people thought it was scripted. It wasn't. It was just people <laughs> really just talking out their mouth, and some girls don't just don't be with it. You get wow. me? Oh, okay. So my experience and just everything about it, it was just this. I, I, 
<laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I don't even know what to say. Like You're speechless. It was a good experience, but you gotta be strong for that shit. Mm-hmm. You gotta be strong for it because um you got people that tear you down, try to tear your character down, not knowing who you are. But me, I'm gonna always be me. Make me can't make me can't break me. I'm like I'm just gonna always be me. Um, you said you said uh, you said that it's it's thing it's, it's, you said it was hard and you got to be strong and it's a lot of things like you said one of them where people trying to tell you that and don't know what were some of the other things that made that made it not so hard to be on the show but what were some of the other things that was a, a obstacle? Well, honestly, it was very uncomfortable being around a bunch of crazy ass women that you don't know. Let's start there. You don't know these girls is mentally fucked up. You ain't know none of them from before. I only knew a few, mm. literally, a handful, that's it. The rest of the girls, I got to know along the way. So it wasn't really like, you know, I knew who they was. Some people knew who I was because before I was Big Coochie, my page was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I almost was reaching, you know, like 30K on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Page got deleted. Mm-hmm. Once it say disabled, it's given, you're not getting it back. So mm-hmm. I just said, fuck it. Try to start over. I've been keep trying to start over since then. All right. I changed my name. Boom. Pages continuously keep getting deleted. Why do you think they keep deleting your page? Because I be talking back. That might be a reason why. <laughs> name, name, can you it say, is, before, you, before you finish the story, can you give one reason why you got, can you, can you give one reason why you think you got one of your Instagram? Just one reason. Well, I think I got what? What like like out of all you said, you got all these Instagrams taken down. But we're gonna put a pin in that story, and you're gonna say, and I wanna ask you, um, out of all the like, what was can you name one time? Like this is probably why I got that page deleted. Okay. Um. <laughs> I know for sure my page got deleted because I called this bitch ass nigga. Mm-hmm. A sassy nigga. Because he was sassy. He was sassy as fuck. And I called him what I seen it. He was sassy on Instagram? He was very sassy. Like, he was always in female shit. Like, mind your business. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? So, when he wanted to keep touching bases, acting like he's such a blogger. I don't even want to say his name. I'm just say sassy. He know who the fuck he is. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he keeping up. He probably going to watch this shit, too. Uh-oh. Cause that's just who he is, but he got my shit deleted. Like got all the people, you know, like hey, get her page deleted. And when it got deleted, he was like, yeah, I got Big Coochie page deleted. What? Like it was a, you know, something to celebrate from. At the end of the day, I make money. Sorry. At the end of the day, I make money on my pages. So when people do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, damn, it's not that fucking serious shit. You say what you want to say about me, but I can't say what I want to say about you. Yeah. That's some tender dick ass shit. Wow, tender dick. Tender. Damn. Yeah. Well, whoever that person is, keep your head up. <laughs> Pray on it. You're going to get better with time. Fuck him. No shade. Okay, let's get back to the story. Come on, we're going to get back. Get back to the story you were talking about, um, the other obstacles you were dealing with while filming, filming, while you were on the show. So, the obstacles, like, basically what, like, what, what I've been through. I mean, like, because you, you, before you were talking about, like, um, it, you got to be a strong person because it's things you that do. tear you down. And, like, yes. you named a few of them. And I was just asking, like, were, were there any more obstacles um, that, were, that they were? I mean, I, I, I didn't want to fight, but a girl thought she was going to bully me online. And me being the alpha woman that I am... Mm-hmm. I don't I don't like that. Don't don't think you're gonna bully me. I'm a good time. I'd rather get money with you than fight than but bitches would never know that. Okay, it might come off I when I'm when I'm a little drunk, I'll be a little loud. No shade. I, I feel you. I, I'd I be you. a little loud, but it's not a bad aggression loud. They be thinking I'm being aggressive, like, no, it don't be that unless they get the line or popping bullshit. I'd be like, bitch, no. 
you know what I'm saying, then I might get out of my character, but it was a bunch of obstacles because a lot of people thought that I was mean or a bully because I would get loud when I'm drinking. Mm. And no shade. I apologize to some of the timid women that thought that That's how it, always it was some bullying going on, but it wasn't. I just, I'm letting you know, bitch, I'm, I'm in here. Like, I might have to shake up the room here and there. I'm here for what the fuck I'm here for. You have a big personality. And it's like, I do. It's, it was it's like strong. You, you feel like you was used by hit. It felt like it was just a lot of hit button, you know. Sometimes it can be, mm-hmm. but I I would let I I like to have conversations. Mm-hmm. I'm not the woman who. All right, I'm gonna beat her ass and it be over. No, we can talk first. But if you just can't have a conversation and you keep yelling at me and all that bullshit and you want to get online and want to think you're bullying, then yeah, I get it. I feel some type of way that I want to put my hands on you. Oh, wow. And I'm so sorry. It's not... It's normal. I, Shit. Because people be tired of people. And plus, it's like... It's like, it's like, Why are you it's fucking not, with me? Exactly. It's, I feel like sometimes when you get in those type of situations, it's like, your mother should have done this. Yeah. Whip your ass. Bitch, don't be bullying. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? My mother... My mom loved me. And I don't know what these girls went through, but my mom and my dad loved me. So... Getting bullied. You you always gonna be rebellious towards that. I'm no, I don't like that shit. But at the end of the day, I never, I don't like when people call me a bully just because I'm speaking on some shit that somebody else scared to say. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Don't call me no fucking bully because I'm saying, you know, I might pull you to the side or a bitch. I might say I don't like your wig. That's where it start. That's where it stems from. Sometimes I be telling the girls I don't like that wig, mommy. And I'll be saying that to bitch. It, and we can laugh about it, but bitch, I'm I'm the type, I might, if she be like, you know, who she's on, I ain't got to like, bitch, I'll pay you half for a week. If, I'm, I'm, I'm really cool as shit. People got to really get to know me. To get to know me is really to get to know me. Mm-hmm. Don't think that I'm going to be different on camera. I'm the same way. I crack jokes. I'm funny. Crack jokes with me, bitch. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. I love a funny person. I'm funny. Mm-hmm. You like funny people? I do. Right. I, I consider myself a funny person. Exactly. Do we, are you funny, Shorty? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's lighten the mood. Let's kind of let's kind of switch it up. We're gonna get back to the show. Um, um, I remember back then you said you're a very sp- a ve- back you saying you're a very spiritual person and you can like read the room and the energy here. To yeah. give you a quiz, what is the energy in this room? The energy in this room. Both of y'all are very timid. Um, y'all are very quiet, kept to yourself. Baby girl over here is very quiet, but she's unique. I don't know what it is about her, but she's unique. I'm sure you know because that's your girl. Yeah, I do. But you are very respectable. Mm-hmm. You're not summoning. I ain't gonna lie, if I'd have met you and my heart dropped, I'd have been like, this nigga wants some shit. Like my, <laughs> in- No, for real, my intuition. Today, it just was crazy. I had an inc- uh, uh, incident, but I can get back into it. But y'all y'all seem like some real kept-together people, and you don't seem like, you know, you was on no bull crap. Whatever question you wanted to ask me, I'm, I'm okay with because I know it's not from no bad blood. Oh, it's, yeah. it's just, I just want to know type questions. This is documentation. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you. You know, some people can be assholes. Yeah, with them podcasts. And I'm and I'm and I'm time and I form. But you don't give me that. You give me I just wanna ask a question and get to know, give it a go. Exactly. These people gotta know who you are. Yes, they do. And I'm okay with that. And these I uh, me personally I feel like these other I like to call myself a journalist, but these other interviewers and mm-hmm. people they, they they like clones. Like they don't they be like, Yeah, like uh, yeah, big coochie, huh? Yeah, what yeah. is that? What is that? Don't make sense. They just they just don't make sense. They just clones. That's what I call them. But I'm not. We're not gonna start no shit in here. We're not gonna start no shit. Won't be no shit. Won't be none. All right. All right. But let's go. Let's go back. You. We. Let's go back to the show. Um. We know that they're doing. Are they still doing auditions for season two? Um. We didn't have it yet. It's okay. coming up February twenty fourth. I will be there. I won't be a judge this season, but I'm. I'm cool with that because I really want to sit back and scope the scenery out like my like my girl <laughs> Meatball. Shout out to to me from Philly <laughs> like. I just want to scope the scenery. I really want to see who is fit. 
I want I want to see personality, talent, real bad bitch shit. But mm. also, don't let nobody walk on you like you a fucking rug. That's not Baltimore. That's not. I Baltimore. don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. When you're from Baltimore, you can be the nicest girl. But when somebody play with you, mm. you whipping the whole fucking crew, and that's Baltimore to me. Don't get me wrong, Baltimore is still ghetto ratchet, whatever. Everybody want to act like we want some golden girl shit. Mm. Y'all ain't that nice around this motherfucker. They not. All that is too much fighting. It's too much drama. Bitch, y'all watch that shit on a daily. Now that's TV, no shade. I love them. Shout out to them. But they be whipping each other ass, and they love that shit. So we have a little whipping ass, a little positivity, a little whipping ass, and then back to positivity. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's a problem. No, for real. We putting the city on. What the fuck more can we do? Exactly. Shout out to Pressure TV. Shout out to Chew. Because he did not have to come here. He could have put his city on. He from New York. He could have put his city on. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. He came down here and was like, I'm going to. And bitches like, oh, they just trying to embarrass us. No. Bitch, you can only embarrass yourself. No, for real. All he doing is recording it. Thank you. You the one that's doing shit. Thank you. People don't know reality TV. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I am me. When I be, you know, even when I'm fucked up, they say you tell the truth when you fucked up. I be fucked up. I agree with that statement. My confessionals be, when I be fucked up, I be talking my shit, but I be meaning it. <laughs> you do. The fuck? I don't, like, I, it's, it's not no cut call. It's like, when it comes to this shit, when it comes to this field, mm -hmm. if you ain't got no tough skin, baby, go sit this one out. No, for real. It's not time. Everybody not going to like you. Exactly. Everybody might can't take your demeanor. Everybody can't take your aggressions. Every, you know, everybody can't take it. Mm. So, honestly, you already answered my question that I was going to ask after that, which you already answered, which was um, some give some advice to, to the ladies that were coming on the next season. But I feel like you already answered it. Oh, I want them to come do their big one. Like, I'm excited because no shade. <laughs> we had some pretty girls. In season one, but some of them was given Animal Planet. And we just had to make do and work with what the fuck we can work with. Animal and it just Planet. what it is. Wait, we need to describe Animal Planet. How, how do you give Animal Planet? Monkeys, giraffes, apes, anteaters, <laughs> gorillas, <laughs> polar bears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> peacocks. You got the pretty bitches, but just peacocks. Wow. We had it all. We had it all. And I was okay with that because at the end of the day, if your personality outshined all of that, it didn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. Shit, outshined me. And I know that might sound crazy and this might be hard. But when you come, you do your big one. And when I say do your big one, that don't mean come out that bitch and give it a go. You don't oh, gotta yeah, always no. fight, baby. You're not looking for, for the next round. I be spending too much money on my shit. I don't really be wanting to fight bitches. <laughs> But don't disrespect me, because, bitch, I'm going to get on the level you on. But come out and do your big one. Promote your business. Let's get on a different platform. Mm -hmm. You on TV now. Make more money. Promote yourself more. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about fucking fighting. But don't let nobody play you. Shit, especially not on TV. I guess I feel like that's the perfect advice to give to the ladies. And I'm excited for season two. Me too. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> are you, are you, are you gonna be I don't there? know what to expect. I will be there. Okay. I will be there. I'll be at the house because I'm like one of the girls that kind of got to keep the girls like, you know, like calm, cool. And hey, ladies, come on. We got to get up. Let's go. We, we got to work to do. Mm -hmm. It's still work. You're filming. You bitches not ready to sleep all day. Yeah, for real. I'm sorry. What was the time we was waking people up? This time Honestly. I'm an early bird, so I didn't disrespect nobody too much. I would probably wait till like 10 or 11. I'd probably give them noon the latest. That's good. That's and like, I was like, come on, y'all. Let's get up. We need to need. We get up. Now, come on. Get y'all shit together. What we doing? Mm. You know, but it, it kind of was hard, too, friend, because half of the girls didn't show. What you mean? Half of the girls didn't show up to the house. Oh. So we had to make do what we can make do with. Okay. But even still, it wasn't scripted. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was like, listen. I told him, I said, listen, this Baltimore, these girls are crazy. 
You don't got to script shit. You don't trust trust me, somebody's going to feel some type of way about something. Mm-hmm. And that's what the fuck happened. That's what happened. Fights get to going off. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you personally, it's another question about the season you were on. What was one of okay. your favorite experiences on the show? When Miss Tracy came through, shout out to Miss Tracy. She's the um, she was the spiritual guide. She was a some like a therapist, mm-hmm. and she really she broke me down like a pound. No shade. She had me crying in that bitch, and <laughs> most people don't see that side of me. Okay. Most people don't see me cry. That's why when I cry, something must really hurt. Man, she got to asking questions and touching on you know certain subjects and. I said, Miss, I don't know what it is about you, but you make me feel like a noodle. Noodle? Oh, I hate them type of people. You know, the, the energy. Like I said, I read the room. Yeah. Spiritually, she broke me down. Like, I couldn't even play all that. Yeah, because I'm good. And no. And at that time, I was going through shit, too. It was easy. Wow. It was easy. It was easy. And I was talking about the past trauma because she asked, you know, personal stuff. Mm-hmm. And I've been through a house fire. I lost everything. You know what I'm saying? So when you lose it all and can gain it back, that's a bona fide hustler. How long ago was that? That was 2006. Oh, wow. When we was in a fire. And I lost everything. I was young. I was young. But my mother had just took us. You know when your parents love you and... They just took you on a big ass shopping spree. Mm-hmm. My mother was working at a good ass job. Her taxes was taxing. Mm. So she was like, you know, come on, girls. It's time to get some new stuff. We just went shopping, market shopping, all that. That night, everything just. Shiznit. So, me to lose something so quick, I appreciate the littlest shit. Because losing all of that, Maybe I was materialistic at that age because I can get whatever I want. I don't know. I, I didn't know. So I was like, yo, step back. Start appreciating shit a little more. Mm. And then, you know, I just got on my grind. Damn. This this is this is a, this is a a good this is I feel like this interview is going well. We you you give you giving you you inspiring people. You inspiring me. Oh shit. Well, thank you. I'm always with the inspiring. Let's all go get that shit. It's enough money for all of us. And it better be. If I can help you in any way, trust me. Use me, but don't use me, if that makes sense. I understand. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm here for you. Okay, let's now let's go. Let's go to. Let's kind of switch it up. Let's kind of switch it. Let's go to something more lighter. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday night. Mm-hmm. You you need some plans. You got a couple dollars in your pocket. Okay. What's the move? What's a couple dollars? I don't know. How much I like, you need? How I much like you need? shit. I go listen. I be doing the most. Okay. <laughs> I might go. I want to pop bottles and go and go to the strip club and see all my friends that I used to work with. I used to be a stripper. Okay. But I, I outgrew that shit. But I go see my friends and I work. It depends. But I like to go have fun. So I might hit up my close friends. Hey, what you doing? Let's get it. Like tonight when I leave here, I wanna. I'm ready to go out. I want to go have a little fun. It's Saturday. We getting lit. I'm this we about to be too. I can't get too lit though because I got a photo shoot and all of that shit tomorrow. Oh shit. Morning? Night. Afternoon. Mm, evening. You be evening. Right. Evening. You be all right. Just turn up. Yes. You be but right. I gotta go get my makeup done in the morning. Okay. Alright. Okay. I don't know nothing about the makeup and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dropping her off. I'm like, God damn, when they got you hostage in there, girl. Listen, beauty takes time. Beauty is pain. How much that, that should, as much that should be cost, I'm like, fuck it, let me, sign me up. Let me get one. Okay, no, for real. You start wanting to learn how to do this shit. Mm. They be making a coin. And then it's Valentine's Day, so I know everything was booked. I went and got my nails. Shout out to my nail tech. You know, she oh, did me real good. All cashed out with a K, Can not I see a them? C. Wait, can I see them? Yes. Okay, my, my POV, I'm, I'm, I'm relaying it descriptively to the audience. These look good. These look nice. These are given Valentine's Day. Thank you. Yes. It's given. We should have asked her. She's the one. She's the woman. My heart, make it over. <laughs> oh, that's my shit right there. You know oh, that. Stop in the name of love. 
before you break my heart. Take it all over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know. I was waiting Fuck for yeah. it. I was waiting for it. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Let's go back to let's go back to the questions. Okay. Um, we we got we got distracted talking about um Maybe. cosmetics and yes. stuff. Yes. Um. So we got Friday. How much? How before? Before we got that, I got a question. Before that, mm -hmm. how much do you need to go out on a Friday night? Since you said you'd be doing your big one, quote unquote. No, for real. Probably like five, six hundred, depending. And that's just the least. But when I'm out of town, mm -hmm. shit, mm -hmm. I be taking like five, six thousand with me, mm -hmm. depending on where I'm going. Might might be more depending on what I'm doing. See, my friends that know, they know. Shout out to my friends that be, you know, going out of town with me. I be sometimes paying, yeah, no <laughs> shit. I be paying for everything. I'm paying for us to get in first round. Second round, come on, let's get drunk, turn up. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want everybody to kind of be on the same level as me. I might wake up, pull a shot, let's go. Grand Rising, we woke. Let's get it. Now, she be taking shots. She, be, she got me going to taking shots in the morning, too. Yeah, see, she lit. What's your sign? Ooh, she crazy too. Oh my goodness, is she? Yeah, what's your sign? I'm a Leo. Me too. Hey! When's your birthday? July 27th. 28th. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we gotta do something now. Leo gang! <laughs> Turn up. Turn up. The energy, that's all we saying. See, okay, so you like the quiet cat, Leo, but you, you crazy as shit if nigga play with you. That's all I'm saying. Who, me? Uh, That's all I'm saying. This interview Leo is not about gang. me. This interview it's is not, not about it's me. But you heard what I said. You heard me say you heard me. You heard me? Heard me. Yeah. You heard me. But yes, Leo's love Sagittarius. I, love I do? That. I didn't know that. I don't even see me personally. Nigga, I don't please. Even... That's, we, we can be compatible. Now, Sagittarius, they are very, um, they can be controlling and feisty, but it's not a bad controlling to a certain extent. My Sagittarius, I had a crazy bitch. She was crazy as shit, but... She loved me, like, loved the shit out of me. Mm. And I know for sure y'all love each other, so. Y'all can Damn, you, te you teaching me stuff about her that I didn't even no, know. No, Sag is, they, 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 they stand on business. She stands She's funny, on too. She stands on she business. She's funny as shit, too, ain't she? She's funny. Mm-hmm. She's funny. They funny. I like it. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the Big Coochie interview. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to have to, I don't know how I feel about it. Is, is my, is my um, YouTube going to be okay Putting coochie in the title of this. They fucking better if not put the <laughs> C X X C H I E. Cause why wouldn't coochie be okay? That's what I'm saying. You can say nigga. That's what I feel. Right, I, I, big I feel, coochie. I feel like fuck it. I'm the biggest. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put big coochie. I don't give a fuck what they do. The much. biggest coochie. I feel like it's worth it. Worth it. Me too. Okay, let's get back to the. Um, I'm sorry. We keep deferring from the question. You said you need. You said when, you, when you're in the city, you mm -hmm. got your five to six hundred. Mm -hmm. What's the move? Shit, I'm going out with my girls. We're gonna have a good time, and my guys because I have some guy friends that I'm really close with, and we outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna make some noise. Make some noise. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that attain? Or do y'all do y'all go to like all you can eat? Places or you go I to love all bar. you can eat, but it depends. You ever been to K-Pot? Yeah, she took me there. Ah, uh, I see, never you, heard of see, it. See, you're a beautiful woman. That, that shit good, ain't it? Girl, the, listen, the K-Pot is k pot <laughs> I swear to God, I be getting the chicken with the crawfish and the motherfucking mm. buffet bar, and then I make my own sauce to mix it with the little noodle soup or whatever. Mm. Yeah, Anytime y'all want to give it a go and say, hey, Coochie, you want me to sell K-pop? Sure, I might bring a friend with me. Oh, that's lit. I swear to God, I'm going to show y'all a little recipe. A recipe? With the noodle, the saffron noodles. Okay. I like spice. You like spice? So get the saffron noodle, but I'm going to show you the, co the, the concoction to make to make it like an actual noodle. Like how we eat. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Don't worry, I got you, y'all. She 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 put me onto all this shit. I would I would not have known what you were talking about. We right? like to eat. Yep, Straight I up. never I never heard a cra I up. never heard a crafty crab or boom boom. I was fucking it all up. Hell yeah. We never heard of Baltimore seafood downtown. They got some good um seafood too. Where? Downtown, literally near the boat. 
if you keep going, like you're going towards. Oh, um, bubba, it's like bubbles and stuff. Like bubbles. Like not bubbles. Not bubble really. shrimp. Oh no. That's near the boat, about. where it's near. Kisslings, Boston Street. That that that. that okay. Okay. Yes. I think, yeah. You keep going straight, like you're going towards um. What's that shit? Outback Steakhouse with that little shop is in there. Oh, it's yeah. before that. It's before that. I swear to God, that seafood amazing. And it's like an apartment right there or something? It looked like an apartment, but on the left, it's a it's a Baltimore seafood. It's like a restaurant. Then it's the bowling alley, all that shit. And then oh, wow. check it out. I didn't I didn't know it was a, a food place back then. Check it out. I promise you it's... You you was writing that down, Shorty? You write that down? Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> oh, I'll send it to y'all. I, yes. I promise you. It's a good spot. I wouldn't lie. Dude, we, we go, I'm going to post this, and I'm going to cut and be like, yes, this is the place Big Coochie sent this to. We yeah, got it just here. tell them don't overcook your shrimp. Don't overcook it. Okay. When you get the boil bags, say don't cook my shrimp too long because it'd be mushy. Okay. Us black people don't like mushy ass shrimp. Yeah, I don't. Black people don't. Baltimore people don't. I don't give a fuck what the other people's like, cause we know seafood. No, for real. We exactly. don't get no when we go out of town, we don't go to That no, shit no be seafood. breaded. We be mad as shit. What is this? Somebody come look at this. We don't we don't want that. Okay. So I guess you answered <laughs> the question. You're going out with the girls and some of your guy friends. We lit. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Um do you have any questions for me? Cause I'm not really. How yeah? How long you been podcasting? Ah, podcasting. I, that's the first time hearing that. What is this? This is a podcast, but I never oh. heard somebody refer to it as podcasting. I need to start using that. I'm gonna steal it. From yeah, you. interviews is cool, but I like podcasting. Yeah, this is podcast. I be like, hey, I got a podcast today. <laughs> you know. Well, I started this around early 2019. Oh, you been then? Yeah, around that's why 20. you got a nice little following base. Oh uh, yeah, but they that's be, keeping up. That's from like other stuff, like from like way back when I used to do like music and stuff. Like you rap? I I ah yes yes I do. You want to spit something? No, this is. Oh, this is, oh, <laughs> oh. he wanted them. This ain't that. He wanted, okay. This ain't that. This ain't. Shit, that. he told me to ask him something. I mean, shit, you want to go for bar for bar? I can spit a little something. I don't no, rap no. for shit. We, we don't, we when don't. I be fucked up, I be me and school, we be toe up, but I be I be fucking the booth <laughs> up. <laughs> I be, well, no battle raps, no battle raps tonight, Big right, Coochie. Right. No battle okay. raps tonight. He um, didn't want to give it a go. I hope. No, this is no, no. He didn't want to give it a go, if guys. Anything, if anything, can I get a Big Coochie feature? Can I get you on a song? Sure. I'm gonna send you a perfect song that I feel like be perfect for Big Coochie to get on. Let's get it. I can sing too, but we ain't gonna do that tonight. You gonna sing? Hell yeah. Oh shit. I went to oh. church. Oh, oh See, these, shit. these girls wasn't godly. Shit, we should have started this out with a prayer. Amen. Shit. I, I prayed on my way here. <clears throat> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's great. No shade, because I was like, I don't know this man. <laughs> no, for real. I would have <laughs> done that shit. This motherfucker ain't crazy. I'm going to talk to my God. No shade. The city that we're in, I, I, I honestly, I, I normally I bring somebody shit. with me, but. I don't feel I shit. Feel I, crazy. I don't. No one, no one about how, what type of shit niggas be on. Like I believe I I'm, I don't I, I wouldn't be mad I wouldn't be mad like I would understand you know what I mean yes cause niggas are crazy what's some crazy shit a nigga done to you <sighs> what you mean crazy cause I did some crazy shit back so I mean we're not talking about that we talking about what somebody did to, what are, we talking about what niggas somebody did to me and what a crazy nigga did to you but if it's if it's something that you did. <laughs> If it's something because it's something that did. I did, it was just because okay. I confronted him. But it, the craziest thing a nigga did to me was bang me in my shit and ran. He ran, like where did he hit you? In my face. What? Yeah, he swole my shit. Was it just like wasn't a little, expecting it? Is it chin check or that nigga like cocked back? No, like it, it it was unexpected. You know, most guys don't like being checked when they been when they've been cheating. So when you asking somebody a certain question and, you know, yo, bang me in my shit. Damn. And got the fuck up out of there. He ran away? Mm hmm That's the craziest shit a nigga ever did to me. Damn. Because um, I, I can at least tell when a nigga want to fight. I done been in the field with one of my exes, and that bitch know I can fight. So he was, we was... <laughs> You feel me? Wow. I wasn't expecting that because, you know, when you love somebody, when you really love them, you're not trying to put your hands on them. 
no matter how aggressive I'm talking, I promise you I won't hit you if I really care about you. Mm-hmm. Yo, bang me in my shit. I'm going to keep saying that shit. Bang me in my shit. Yo, I believe... I, I, and like, got the fuck up out of there. Holy moly, that's actually crazy. I wasn't expecting that answer. Mm, you wasn't expecting a lot. These motherfucking niggas is crazy. That's why I don't want to deal with them. Is he in jail right now for that? No, not for that, but he's in jail, I think. Because somebody told me, but I was like, I don't give a fuck. Shit. Yeah, damn. I ain't called the police because one thing about it, I'm the chosen one. Mm-hmm. And God don't play about me. So sooner or later, karma's going to eat that ass up. And that's probably what's going on now. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but... I'm sure Karma is eating his ass up. Wow. Whatever he's going through. I ain't deserve that shit. Nobody deserve that shit. Fuck no. No woman deserved that shit. That's actually crazy. Ain't it? Yes. You wasn't expecting that. I'm going to keep it real. Okay. I ain't going to lie. So, do you, um, now what is the craziest thing a female has done to you that you've been in relations with? <laughs> I got a Let me take my drink. My bitch ran down on me one time. We out at a party. Bitch ran down on me. Got me spilling my liquor all over my shit. My clothes, my new Louis, like. Mm, not the Louis. She's, I spill liquor all over my shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, the shit was crazy. Like, she smacked my drink on my hand. You ain't you about to play with me. I'm like, well, what the fuck did I miss? Like, no shade. I be kind of missing it. Like, I be fucked up. I don't be saying what the fuck they be saying. I was trying to walk to speak to my homegirl who is married. Mm-hmm. Her wife was right there. And I'm like, how you doing, ma'am? You know, da, da. she ran down on me. Damn. Did she, did, you, did she fight you? She ain't like bang me in my shit, but she knocked my drink and... Try to rough me all up, scratch my chest, and I had to slam her, you know, to calm slam her down. Her. Yeah, I kind of just slammed her, just on the couch part, and I held her down, like, relax, like, what the fuck? Wow. Like, was she please. lit to you? She was drunk as shit. <laughs> she was drunk as shit. But I was like, you know, relax, like, babe, we, we not ready to be fighting out here. Like, I don't like to hit my women. Mm-hmm. I don't care all that, yeah, you want to fuck with girls because you can fight them. No, I don't want to fight you. What the fuck I want to fight you for? That shit not cute. Okay, let me ask you about the kids. What do you think the kids? What do you what what, what do you think the kids? Um, what advice do you have the kid? What I'm sorry. What advice do you have to the kids that watches us, or more specifically you? They probably not kids because you for probably the kids. Need to be older well, about. I don't. I block no shade. I block kids that follow me on Instagram. I feel like my page is a little too much for kids. Eighteen and plus. That's what yeah. I, yeah. So um. To the young ladies that is growing up, be yourself, but don't sell yourself, if that makes sense. Um, Tap into your beauty. Tap into the environment you want to be in. I don't know because right now the society is pushing a lot of gay stuff on our younger children. And I don't really, I I don't want you to think it's okay. If that makes sense, but mm. if that's your choice, mm. okay. I feel like if you but, know, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I knew know, when I was younger. I, I already knew. Like I knew. Mm. It's different when you know, you know. Mm. But um, I've been told my mother when I was younger. I, I was very honest with my mother. She knew. Even when I was dealing with men, I was like, "Ma, I like women." Wow. Shit, I like women more. And. She thought I was playing, but I wasn't. I bought my girlfriend, my first girlfriend, one of my first girlfriends home, and she gravitated. So I would just really want the women to, the young ladies to really be yourself and don't don't let society control you and make you want to be something that you're not. Don't be confused. Mm-hmm. What you like is what you like, but also take a chance. Because you got some, you know, kids that might be like, oh, I know this is what I want. Shit. I thought that it was niggas that what I wanted, but shit, whole time it's really women. <laughs> What's your type of women? Do you like uh? Do you like do you like the like Duke from rap shit, or do you like 
pretty girls. It's the dude from rap shit. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. I like studs, but I just started getting into studs. But no shade. Sometimes studs be so soft and they be a little uh, studs be soft. They be crazy, right? What? Right. I'm an alpha woman, so I don't know. Maybe it's the ones I ran into. Whatever. But whatever. Um. I like femmes too. That's what I started off with. Women that dress like me, that look like me. Mm-hmm. When I had a dude, that's the women that I would, you know, deal with. But when I stopped dealing with men, I started giving a couple of them a try, you know, because they was giving nigga mentality. What is nigga mentality? Uh, meaning that how they carry themselves. Mm. You know, someone wear cologne. Cologne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to think about what cologne was at first when you said it. Yes, cologne. They wear cologne. Wow. You know, they dress like a boy. You know, some of them look good. Some of them look, actually look like a boy. If what? they wear it right, no shade. Shout out to all the, all the studs out there. That's holding it down, I guess. I don't know how to really... That Bring question. out the strap! <laughs> Ew, Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next question that I have. <laughs> what can we expect from Big Coochie from future in the future? Oh my God, be tuned. Um, it's more to come. Honestly, shit just be coming. <laughs> it just be coming. So I'm just, I'm honestly just patiently waiting. I'm ready for whatever comes my way. Mm-hmm. I honestly feel like this is my time. I smile so hard when I say that because I genuinely feel like this is my time. I genuinely been waiting for a, a um opportunity like this and I just genuinely been waiting to put the city on no matter what. Mm-hmm. I I love that for us. I, I agree. I agree. I feel like I you're the best it. person to do that. Oh, thank you. Just I, and I appreciate as outside that. Looking at, you know what I mean? How does it feel? How does it feel? How does that? How does that affect you every day? Because I know it's like every nobody knows how it's up. like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Every day I wake up, I just throw my crown on. I'd be like, let's get to it. I still gotta work. I still got you know family, friend issues, girlfriend issues, whatever. But I still gotta make sure that I'm prepared for things like this. I've been being booked left and right. Thank you, Lord, because I prayed on it. And I manifested this. Spoke about it years ago. Manifestation is real? It is. Wow. Very real. The tongue is very powerful. So I kind of been preparing for this, but it just feel good when it come, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the fact that everybody, the people that know, the real people, I don't got time for that fake ass energy. You mad because the next person, baby, I'm probably what you need in your life. Mm-hmm. You want to beef, but baby, I might help you out in crazy ways. Just from talking to you in this short amount of time, you gave me stuff that I need to work on myself. Shit. Really? Yes, not to be so materialistic, you know? Yeah, no, it's all about that. I can wear nice shit like, and still mix it with some reasonable shit. But in my mind, I can lose all this shit any given day. Mm-hmm. But don't ever lose your dignity. I promise you. You got that and your morals and you, your principles and you, you, you standing on what you standing on. Mm. Can't nobody play with you. I mm. believe you. They don't, they can't play with Big Coochie. They cannot. That's why they be upset. Shit. They can't break me down like a pound. I'm a brick wall bitch. Matter of fact, I'm cornerstone. Except for Miss Tracy. I love Miss Tracy. She broke me down. He said it's Seth and Miss Tracy. <laughs> yes! Shout out to Miss Tracy. I swear to God. She broke me down. And I love that for her. I love that for her. I she didn't did even know big, this lady and she, she broke did her, me she down. She did her big one that some females would say. That spirituality kicked in. I said, this lady's spiritual right here. This one of God giving angels. And I'm speaking with this lady. I'm, I, I just start instantly going, <laughs> I just started turning into a noodle. All that, getting your guard up. It, it couldn't happen with her. Mm-hmm. It couldn't happen. And I thank her for that. Mm-hmm. 
I and I I thank you for coming here. I thank you for, for yes. this conversation. You're welcome. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I was like, listen, y'all, I got shit to do. <laughs> I got a podcast. Listen, hold up, because bitch, I'm already late. I'm a holler at <laughs> I'm you busy. when I'm... I go. You know, I'm booked and busy, bitch. I got I got shit to do. Yeah. You know, I can't miss this. I couldn't. That's great. I couldn't. That's great. Uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank Shardy for making my drink. Um, I'm busted, and I thought I wasn't gonna be busted up. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a side note. That was a side note. Shout out. Wait, wait, wait. Mama Sita, can you pull him a shot? Because we got to take a shot before I Oh, go. my goodness. I don't want no whips and chains, but you can tie me down. You, you like the song? It's Put okay. your love in right. me, I'll baby. Like yeah, we're going to take a shot. Let's go. See, I need a taste of it. That's crazy. Since you never know, she might be like, throw it down tonight. She needs you to get right, boy. Come on. All right. Shit, you never know. It's almost Valentine's Only Day. Only because Big Coochie asked me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, this is the outro. This is the shot of the outro. This is the first time I'm doing this, and this is going to take me out. So end it before I take the shot so I, they won't hear me gagging and shit. It's like, I'm uh 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 uh. I'm going to say, hell no. <laughs> we catching all that shit. You better take it like a man. Okay. I'm going to um, drink mine out the straw. You want me to pop my top? No, you good. It's okay, because I can still drink a lot out the straw. You good. I know you, you good. Scope in the it's scenery. It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay. okay. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Cheers. Thank you for having me. And I hope all y'all watch. Don't be fucking playing. Really tune in. Why not? Mm. Mm. <sighs> Somebody get him an IV. <laughs> uh, Somebody, Somebody get my man's an IV in the water. See, that's why you shouldn't be chasing it with juice. It should be water because it flush you. Oh, yeah? You didn't know that? No. That's why I drink all my liquor with water. I don't chase. When you said bring a chase, I'm like, this nigga don't know. I don't even chase my bitches. What? I just drink water. God damn it. How do you do this, Big Coochie? You just drink water. You have a lot to show me. I do. I um, do. I, oh my God, please. Stay tuned. I'll yes. be back. Yes, yes, she will. I will be back. Um, he was a vibe. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you for having me. Hurry up and turn this off before they see how lit I am. <laughs> <laughs>